Hey guys, welcome back to Blind Strike Exotics. I'm John, and today we are going to talk about my racks. Um, I had a viewer a couple weeks ago ask about if I could do a review of the ARS 3070 rack now that I've had it for a couple months. Um, and I just got four more of these Reptile Basics VE6 racks in uh, this week, last week, last week. Um, and I figured, and I got them both around the same time, it was like maybe April, May, earlier this year, 2020. Um, so I've had them for about six, half a year now. Um, so I wanted to give a quick update on to how they're holding up, you know, whether or not I still love them, um, any critiques. I know the one thing about the Reptile Basics is that when I ordered them back in the spring, they came pre-made. Um, now they ship them flat and you have to build them. It doesn't take very long, it's about 30 minutes. Um, I wish they just came built, so it's one less thing I had to <laughs> had to worry about doing uh, as I got things shipped into me. Um, not a big deal, though. It's not a deal breaker or anything. So um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the, how these racks are holding up and if I still recommend them. Let's take a look. All right, I wanted to start off first with the ARS 3070 rack. Um, this is the hybrid rack. Um, basically what that means is instead of it being all steel, um, the little joints here that hold the, the cross posts and the, and the vertical posts are plastic. Um, I don't know what the all metal one or the original one weighs or like what the Freedom Breeder one weighs, but even this hybrid with the plastic pieces in it is still extremely heavy. Um, this thing has held up extremely well. Um, we went through a move, um, you know, a couple months ago and each one of these levels comes off. So you can, you can disconnect, um, you know, the levels right here and they come off in single levels. Um, and those single levels are still very heavy duty and very heavy in general. Um, you know, if you had two got bigger guys, I'm not huge. I'm like five, eight, as you can see, you know, this rack's a little taller than me. It's probably, you know, close to six feet tall. Um, if you had two guys my size, you can carry each level okay, um, maybe even two levels at a time. Um, unfortunately, you know, in the middle of the pandemic, I only had my wife helping me. And we struggled moving these levels, um, you know, from my basement, you know, through the doorways into the back of the moving van. Um, God bless her. Uh, she, she dealt with a lot trying to get the, we, 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 we moved these guys last minute. Um, the day we were trying to move out of the old house and moving everything into the moving van, uh, the moving truck. And she, it was a long night. We were up until midnight, but we got it done. We dropped, uh, one or two of these levels at some point. Um, I think one maybe even fell out of the back of the truck onto the ground. It still stayed assembled in one piece. And as I reassembled it here at the new house, um, I really didn't see any damage. And that's amazing considering the fact that one of them like completely fell out of the back of a moving van and at least one or two of the other ones were dropped as we were carrying them. Um, so it's still, it's held together very well. Um, I think maybe the other plastic pieces are these little rails that the tubs slide in and out of. Um, these rails are plastic as well. So that might be one of the other features where it maybe saves a little bit of weight over top of like the, the original uh, 70, 30, 30, 70 series or 70, 30 series. Um, so that probably saves a little weight too. Um, the casters, uh, which are the wheels on the bottom, if you don't know, very heavy duty. They work excellent. Um, I'm able to move this huge, I don't, I don't even know what this weighs. It's a couple hundred pounds all, all assembled, especially once you have, you know, four and eight pound female snakes in there. Um, casters are very heavy duty. I can wheel this thing around uh, extremely easily. Um, I think this model, and I only purchased like one extra tub, I think shipped it was like maybe like $2,100. Um, so it's definitely an investment, but as I was pricing things out, um, you know, I looked into the Reptile Basics adult tubs um and they only come like in maybe i think stacks of three or six um it wasn't cost effective to go this route now 
it was cost effective to go this route with the the VE6s, which I use for the hatchlings and the grow outs, but it wasn't cost effective to go that route for the adults. Um, Freedom Breeders, which I believe are all stainless steel, they come pre-assembled and they're quite a bit more expensive than this hybrid rack. Um, now, the one issue that I definitely have with this, that if I were to buy a Freedom Breeder, I never would, I never could have bought it even because of the, I could have bought it because of the price, but I chose not to. Um, it wouldn't have fit in my house. I, this did not fit through the doorways in my house. I actually had to disassemble it, break it down into single sections to get it out of the house. And even in the new house, it fit through the inner doorway, but we have a big sliding glass door in the back of the house and it wouldn't even fit through there. So I still had to disassemble, disassemble it into single levels, turn them sideways to fit them through the doorway. Um, so if you're bright, if you're looking at a Freedom Breeder rack, make sure you measure everything and know the exact measurements of all your doorways because I would probably bet that you're not going to fit it into your house. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. This, you know, comes in a, on a pallet in a couple big boxes. Um, you're probably going to have to bring it into your house and assemble it and most likely in the room that you're putting it in. Um, that was the other big advantage for me with this rack is that I could fit it into the space I needed to. Um, but for these females, uh, for these big girls, this rack is perfect. It's built extremely well. It's only six months old, um, but it definitely got beat up in the move. Um, but it still looks like it's brand new. You really couldn't tell that there was any damage to it. I don't think that there is damage to it. Um, which says a lot because these levels are, again, are still empty. They're still very heavy and falling, you know, four feet out of the back of a truck onto the cement. Um, they don't show any damage. They weren't bent. They weren't, none of the middle was twisted. Even the plastic pieces in the middle um, didn't have any damage. So I'm very happy about that. So if you're looking at buying a big rack, um, you know, a professional rack, I love this. Um, I think I have an, an earlier video where I show like a time lapse of me building it. It takes forever to build. If you can get a second person to build it with you, do that. It takes forever to build. It's like a, it's a half a day project because you need to put screws. You know, there's these, the, the inserts where you slide the tubs into, um, you know, there's one, two, three, four, five, there's six on each level. And I bet you there's probably at least 10 screws and there's probably 60 screws just on this level. Um, and you have to do that on every single level, 10 level, it's probably 600 plus screws you got to put in. So you definitely need an electric screwdriver to build this thing, but it's a long project. It's not very hard to do. It's just very time intensive. So that is the big downside to this rack versus a freedom breeder that comes pre-assembled is it takes a long time to build. And if you're not handy, uh, <laughs> you may want to skip it. Um, and just stick with these PVC racks if you can't afford the Freedom Breeder. Um, there's only a couple screws you have to put into these guys uh, now that they don't come pre-assembled. Um, so you may want to go that route. But if you can build stuff, if you have the time to do it, and you don't want to spend the money on a Freedom Breeder, or if the Freedom Breeder can't fit in your house, I absolutely love these ARS hybrid racks. Now, the other feature about this rack that I love um, and with the camera there, I don't know if you're going to see it too well. Um, I love the gray tubs. I love that they're not translucent translucent or semi-clear. Um, but I also love that they have the option to get the cup holders in the front. Um, a lot of the issues I run, to, run into in my other racks is that, um, you know, when you run these other tubs, they do not have the place to sit the deli cups in. And I would probably say 50% of my snakes spend their days uh, trying to tip them over. So, so I come into these racks every day and there's just water spilled everywhere because that's what they like to do. Um, I tried to get like PVC couplings to cut them in half to fit them in that didn't go very well. And I have them in a couple of them, but I stopped doing it because it was a pain, pain to cut. Um, in my local Home Depot, I couldn't find the, the more shallow couplings to put the deli cups into. So I had to buy like the longer ones that were probably four inches deep. 
so I had to try to cut them to fit them in. They, they fit in these bigger tubs, but when you put the higher couplings in those shallower tubs, um, there's barely any space for those snakes to get into the water bowl. So you have to kind of cut them in half. Um, it, it's just more work than you want to do. So I ended up just putting the deli cup directly in there. So they end up spilling it. So having these deli cup holders pre-built into the tubs um, makes everything a lot easier. Um, there was no spillage. The snakes can get in there nice and safe and easy and drink when they need to drink. And um, it also haps, helps with uh, the females when you're breeding, when they're gravid um, or ovulating, they like to wrap around the bowl. Uh, and that's a very good indicator that they are, uh, you know, pr possibly pregnant is when you see them wrap around the bowl trying to keep cool. Um, so that's kind of another helpful feature of this actually being permanently in here in the front. Um, so I love that feature. Um, and again, I like having the gray tubs that are solid and they are not transparent or semi-clear. Um, I don't know, I don't have any females that are skittish like the hatchlings are. I know if I could get tubs for hatchlings from Rep Reptile Basics that were gray like this, I would buy them because I've had quite a few hatchlings that absolutely hate um, having these clear tubs um, and I've had to kind of build up coconut chips, rip the chips in the front to kind of block out the light to kind of make it look like it was darker in there so they felt more comfortable. So that, that's something I love about this. Um, that and the cup holder in the front. So that's why I went with the gray tubs with the cup holder. Um, you can also choose to buy extra tubs when you buy the rack, I only bought one the first time, which I think was a mistake. It's hard to always try to shift that one tub in and out um, as you're cleaning the tubs. The next time I purchase one of these, I'm probably gonna buy probably at least three extra ones to have on hand so that, um, you know, as I'm cleaning the, the racks out in the tubs, I don't have to clean that tub right away. If, I, if I'm trying to do stuff, I can just throw that tub to the side, clean it later, put in a fresh tub. Um, so I have more than just one backup tub. So part two of this uh, six month review is the Reptile Basics. Um, now these are brand new racks I just bought. They came in last week or two weeks ago. Um, the big change between six months ago and now is these don't come pre-built anymore. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, it's not a huge deal. They're not hard to build. Um, there are, there's, you know, three screws atop the, along the top on each side. There's three going down the side and then two, missed one there, um, two for each of the levels, the shelves that you put in. So there's not a ton of screws and there's only, you know, a couple more on the back. It's not hard to do. Um, it is kind of a pain, kind of time intensive to uh, weave the heat tape through there um, because you have to kind of Put it in this side and then run it this way and then run it this way and back and forth it's not hard it's just kind of a pain in the butt i think you know the first one took a little bit of getting used to to build once i built the first one and knew what i was doing i think the second one maybe took 30 to 40 minutes to build so it's not a ton of time they're not really hard to build there's not a ton of screws again you need a, you probably want an electric screwdriver um, they say not to over tighten the screws, so you want to be careful of that. I don't know if it's, if it's going to ruin the PVC. Um, but overall, you know, it, these don't look any different than the ones I bought six months ago. Um, you know, I'm confident that this is built just as well, or put together as well as the old ones were. Um, so I still love these things. Um, they're not very heavy. I can pick them up very easily without any issues. Um, they come with six levels. And what I did here is I want to show you the different size tubs you can put in there. Um, so these are the hatchling tubs. They're eight quarts. Um, and I can bring those out and show them to you. Just real thin, real narrow. Um, you can put three of these on each level. Um, the other sizes they have are, I, think, I believe these are 11, which is maybe close to double the size of the hatchling rack or the hatchling tubs. Um, these are really going to be your hatchlings. I would say maybe you're thinking about putting snakes that are up to 200 grams in these. 
these tubs, I would assume you're putting snakes up to 500 grams or so. Um, and you could fit a third tub in there, which is one per row, which are these guys here, which I believe these are 21 quarts. And you're going to fit basically adult males in here or snakes up to roughly a thousand grams. So the reason I love these racks and the reason I chose these over the other racks I could find, and let's take this guy for instance is you have the ability to mix and match the tubs. Um, now this rack, I honestly don't know uh, which company built it. I bought it second hand, but it doesn't come with the tubs. So you have to buy these uh, by yourself and they don't fit very well in there. And on top of that, they don't feel very sturdy. These tubs that you get to put in there, they're very wobbly. They're not very heavy duty. And they, I, they don't, I don't feel secure when I'm pulling them in and out. Um, and they have these little feet on the bottom too. I'm sure you can find tubs without the feet, but I always seem to get them stuck on this lip when I'm putting them in there. Um, but most other racks that I found when I was shopping around only fit one style of tub. So let's say these guys, they manufactured this rack they tell you you have to go buy the specific Sterilite or Iris tub that fits in here and nothing else works in there. With this rack from Reptile Basics, um, now these are manufactured by Vivarium Electronics. I don't know how it works. I don't know if Reptile Basics is just a reseller, <clears throat> but everything, there's a, it's branded up here on top with the Vivarium Electronics logo. Vivarium Electronics is the same company that makes uh, the thermostats. Um, so with these guys, they're made, they are specially made so that they have their own custom tubs. So you can fit, you know, the eight, 11 or 21 quart tubs in there. So, you know, you could fit 18 hatchlings in here. Um, you could fit 12, you know, medium size, you know, like juveniles in there, or you can fit six adult males or some adult females in there, which, um, to me, having that flexibility was extremely useful. I don't have a ton of space. And even recently when I just, I bought four of these, um, I priced them out versus using like an ARS hybrid rack. I think maybe they were called 5040s, um, or even buying an a, a ARS hatchling rack. It just didn't make sense to me money wise to do that because these will probably be all filled with hatchlings next year. Um, you know, I will probably end up using this rack again. The females that I have in here that are getting big, they're going to end up going in another ARS rack that I'm going to buy next spring. Um, when I move those guys out of there that are too big, the other grow outs I have are probably going to go into this rack. And then these six uh, VE6 racks that I have from Reptile Basics are probably only going to be hatchling racks. So you have 18 um, in each one, so that's 36, 72. I'll have space for a little over 100 babies. That's probably not going to be enough. Um, but for me, you know, just going to have you know, you know, 30, maybe 30 females going this year. That's probably going to be okay. But because by the time the first clutch hatches, I'm probably going to have a couple months between when the first one hatches and the last one hatches. So hopefully those babies are out of the rack at that point. If they're not, then I'm gonna need to scramble and find something locally or find somebody who makes racks quicker and get, get shipped to me quicker. Um, now these guys in, Mar in April when I ordered, they were like seven to eight weeks for delivery. Their site still said that when I ordered them in the middle to the end of October this year, but they had them shipped to me, I think in four weeks. So either they just never updated the website or they're just running way ahead of schedule because I actually have them a lot quicker than I, I, I really didn't expect them to have, to have them until the start of 2021. Um, but they showed up like the last week of November or the first week of December. So they came pretty quick. So there's a couple things that I wish I could change about this rack. Um, I don't know if you're going to find any differences anywhere else. I, I'm not huge on the, on the semi clear tubs. I wish they were gray. They do not currently have an option to get gray tubs. Um, 
the one thing that I don't love about how narrow the hashing tubs are is that, that the deli cups uh, don't fit in here really well. You kind of have to like scrunch the cup. Like I have like the smaller, I feel like they're, uh, I think they're eight, four or eight quarts, um, the little deli cups that fit in there. Um, and you have to kind of scrunch it to fit it in there. Um, not a big deal. They, they still sit in there securely. Um, somehow the hatchlings still find a way to tip them over. Um, and the same thing for hides. So what I ended up having to do for hides, if I can finally go off screen here for a second, um, is I found these little takeout containers um, from Amazon. I have no idea what size they are. And I just took a um, soldering iron so there's no sharp edges and I like cut a hole out of the side of it. This is like perfect for, doesn't say what size it is, um, perfect for hatchlings. Um, as you can see, it's like the size of my palm. Um, they're super cheap. It's just going to be a lot of work to have to cut out the holes in all of them. Um, it's a lot more cost effective than buying hides that would fit in there. Um, they work perfectly fine. And if one of them gets ruined by one of the snakes going crazy in there with a the bowel movement, you just throw it out and you don't care. Um, and they're easy, easily replaceable. So I don't love that, how narrow they are. Um, the bigger tubs, I feel like they could possibly put like a deli cup holder in there. Um, it would probably fit okay, especially for the shallower cups. I wish that was in there, but I'm not sure if there's any other grow out racks uh, that have the deli cup holders in there. Maybe the ARS do. I haven't seen them yet because I haven't shopped for ARS for that. Um, but I wish they had that too. The other neat thing that they have in here, and let me jump the other way, is they have these little pins that you can drop into here to lock the tubs in place. So, you know, it can't accidentally come out. Um, I wouldn't say they're childproof because I'm sure my two-year-old could easily figure out how to pull this pin out of here and slide the tub out, but um, there's no accidental uh, <laughs> cases where these where these tubs are going to pop out on their own. So they do give you these with each rack. I have a ton of them. I've never actually used them. Um, but it's kind of a nice feature to have. You know, it's not, I'm never going to complain about getting like a neat security feature like that. Um, so there's, you know, there's three on each row. It obviously fits these. And if you put them down here for the bigger tubs, you know, the middle one is of no use, but you know, the ones that work on the side for there. And then for the bigger tubs, you know, I would assume you just put one in the middle. So these work, um, you know, again, I don't know if I'd use them or not. It just seems like a lot of work to do that. Maybe you would, it's a neat feature to have. Um, but you know, it's uh, kind, of, kind of the small things. So the, I love these. Um, I also recommend these racks. I, I, I'm a very big fan of them. I think the versatility of having the three sizes of tubs are huge. Um, the PVC is, uh, I guess, pretty high quality. I've never had any issues with it. Um, my ones that are six month old still look brand new. Um, they have, uh, the casters that you can buy casters they're optional um, you can also buy a work table that slides in between the two racks which is basically just a, a big piece of pvc it looks it basically when you're building it um it basically looks like just one of the shelves but it fits right in the middle of the two racks and it's just kind of like a nice little work table you can pull a tub out set it down there and do what you have to do or you know, put your cleaning supplies on there when you're cleaning um I think the extra, this is like $15, I think the casters are like $15. Um, the other key thing with buying these racks is they give a drastic discount on the cost of these tubs when you buy them with the rack. So if you're buying one of these racks, buy the tubs with it. I made the mistake of, I bought 18 tubs, 18 hatchling tubs the first time, but I only bought, and I bought two racks the first time. But I only bought six of the uh, the 21 port tubs, which was a mistake because I could have used the versatility of having more than that. And I think the tubs are like double the price 
if you buy them without buying the rack. So I highly recommend um, buying as many tubs as you think you're going to need with these racks um, when you buy it. I would highly recommend buying six of the biggest tubs. Um, I'm assuming most people are going to use these for uh, growing out their snakes. Um, so having those six larger tubs is huge. Um, and maybe even, maybe even 18 of the hatchling tubs. I bought only a couple of these, um, because I don't know if I'm honestly going to use them a whole lot. I, I'm assuming most of the snakes I have are going to be okay jumping from the hatchling tub to the grow out tub, the 21 quart tub. If they're not comfortable in that, then that's what I'm going to use these 11 quart tubs for. Um, uh, so I only bought a couple of them, but I know that I'll be using the larger ones in the, in the hatchling tubs, um, forever. Now, when I get to the point that I'm going to be producing hundreds of hatchlings every year, I'll probably move away from these racks, um, only because I'm probably going to need a dedicated space for my hatchlings. The only reason I decided to go this way again this year was because I'm not going to have so many hatchlings that like I'm going to have them, uh, you know, straggling behind until, you know, 2022 into March, April, May, June. Um, I'm assuming that most of the ones I produce will be gone by the end of next season and sold. Um, now next year, uh, you know, 2021 going into 2022, you know, if I, if my plan follows through of me having, you know, 60 females, I'm probably gonna have to buy a huge dedicated, uh, hatchling rack because I'm probably gonna have that many babies and those babies are probably going to be sticking around a little longer because I'm gonna have so many of them. Um, so I'm gonna have to have the space to keep them in there. Whereas right now I'm kind of betting on the fact that I'll have the space and availability to kind of mix and match you know, who's going in these racks. They're not going to be all hatchlings in all six of them. But for now, this is perfect for me. You know, for anybody that, you know, isn't breeding on a large scale, um, <clears throat> I love this. And I'm probably never going to get rid of these. You know, if I use them as strictly quarantine tubs in a different room, or if I still incorporate them into, you know, being my mail racks, you know, if I just save the six of these for all of the males I have are just for the grow outs. That's probably what I'm going to do. Um, <clears throat> the other nice thing about these racks is pull the camera back a little bit here. Where they are. You can see that this is 12 levels over here on the reptile basics rack. This one is 12 levels too. Um, now there's a little bit of a height difference on the bottom because this came with casters. Um, I had to use a furniture dolly on this that I attached casters to to be able to move it because it didn't come with casters attached to it. Um, so maybe there's like a two inch height difference on the bottom, but look how uh, short this is compared to this. Um, this is at least a foot and a half of space difference, um, which is huge. In some rooms, you may be able to fit a third rack, a VE6 rack on top of here. Here, I probably can't. If I didn't have the casters on the bottom, I probably could. Um, but it'd probably be too tight for me to do that in here. But this is 12, uh, 12 levels and this is 12 levels. So this is a lot. I'm not super tall and 5'8". I can still see into this tub and clean it. Um, on this, I need to get my step ladder out to get up here or I need to pull the whole tub out to get in there. The other issue is, I mean, it's very close to the ceiling in here. Um, and, you know, I have eye beams here and <laughs> I bang my head off this eye beam probably uh, at least twice a day when I'm trying to clean stuff. I can't seem to get in there and, and not bonk my head on it. Um, but if you're just getting up there to peek in to see if it's clean or not, I mean, your, your head's on the ceiling trying to do that. So these are built I think a lot with a lot more thought and care. Um, <clears throat> the versatility is to me, the number one selling point. Um, I don't remember the exact price of it. I believe they were 
maybe about four hundred dollars a piece for each rack, um, including all the tubs. <clears throat> I can't remember my exact bill. I feel like it was around sixteen hundred dollars, but I bought. I think I bought enough tubs. Um, I think I may have bought at least. I think I bought seventy-two hatchling tubs. I think I bought. I may have bought 24 of these big tubs, and I don't know how many of these 8 or the 11 quart tubs I bought. Not as many, probably maybe like 10 just to have them. But I bought enough tubs for all of the racks and then spares so that I could switch the hatchling and the 21 quart tubs in and out if I need to. Um, and I think maybe I spent 1600 bucks on all four racks plus all the tubs. So it is extremely cost effective it gives you a lot of versatility and i think it's probably the best value um and the best sa space saving that you can have because instead of me having a huge hatchling rack and then a huge grow out rack this does all of that it saves me space it saves me money not having to buy two separate racks i have one that does everything um and it's not extremely heavy. I mean, I, it's very easy to pick this thing up and drop it back down. Um, they just sit on top of each other. There's a little notch here. Um, and you just pick it up and set it down on top of there. And it sits down there nice and flush. It's completely enclosed. Front and side. Well, not the front. But the side and the back is completely enclosed. So it keeps that heat in there for the snake. I love it. Um, the engineering in this is really cool. Um, it's a fantastic product. You know, I, I love my ARS rack too, but it's pretty much a basic rack. I mean, it's a bunch of steel with some rails and you slide tubs into it. Um, this is just, you know, the, the thoughtfulness that it took to put, you know, being able to put three different size tubs in there. Um, I just think it's pretty neat. It, it's, it's, you know, being a snake person, being a snake breeder, it just makes my life a lot easier. All right, so for the ARS 7030 and the Reptile Basics VE6, I still love them both. They still both get five stars or two thumbs up or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Highly recommend them to you guys. Um, you know, I did a, a pretty good amount of shopping around. You know, I like to make sure that I'm making the best decision when spending the money because it is an investment and it's not cheap. Um, and, you know, for where I'm at right now, um, you know, which is, you know, I have 30 females. Um, and I have, you know, eight males that I'm that I'm breeding this season. So, you know, potentially 30 clutches, probably not, you know, some of them probably won't lay and uh, some of them might have a bunch of duds and, you know, those are the odds. But from where I'm at at this point in my, uh, you know, snake breeding career, these were the best, de best decisions that I could make in terms of buying housing for the snakes. Um, versatility, value, quality, all that stuff uh, considered, these are great. I love them. Um, I would buy them over and over again. Um, you know, maybe one day when I have a big old snake warehouse, I might get some Freedom Breeders because they built their, their you know, all stainless steel and they're pre-built, you know, rolling off the truck. Um, but I'm going to need probably a big bay door, you know, a big like garage door to get them in and out through. So, um, you know, that's something to worry about down the line now. But now I'm doing this in my basement, um, you know, I need to have the versatility of being able to take this apart real easy. Um, and I need to be able to save space, which is what the Reptile Basics rack does by allowing me to put hatchlings or grow out uh, snakes in there too. So um, that's all I got to say about that. I love these. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Other, But, you know, they're great, fantastic products. You know, do your own research, see what, figure, what works best for you guys. But... I love them. Uh, I can't say that enough. So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I hope you I helped you guys out if you're in a you know place where you're trying to figure out what sort of rack you want to buy. Um, again, questions, please comment down below. And remember to like and subscribe. Thanks. See ya.